There is a new way to make your kids' free time more fun and memorable. Join me as I learn more about this fresh take on learning science and math with Luna Garcia of Engineering for Kids. Tell us about Engineering for Kids. Well, Engineering for Kids is bringing STEM education to, to students through uh, fun and challenging activities. Mm -hmm. It's an after-school uh, program to supplement what our children learn in school. Okay, so when you say STEM, that stands for something. Ah, uh, right? yes. That's... It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. STEM is really new. Yes. Like K-12, we're just introducing it there lately. And with STEM, it's just Smile who brought STEM-based programs here in the Philippines and one of which is Engineering for Kids. So what age would be appropriate to apply the uh, STEM curriculum or of, Engineering, uh, engineering for, for Kids? kids. Yeah. We cater to children 4 to 14 years old. Mm -hmm. We have juniors, okay. 4 to 6, and then the apprentice, 7 to 12, and masters is 13 to 14. Masters. Yeah, masters. They call oh. them masters because they're mga teens. Na eh. So the level of difficulty is different already with the 13 and 14 years old. Though they use the same activity, it's the, parang, uh, the challenge is harder. Oh, okay. Four to six years old, for the projects that they use, the material is already pre-cut. Mm -hmm. And then the concept that we introduce, like for example, for the flood, Parang, this is a, one blob. of the activities in chemical engineering. Okay, so, so it, this one, four to six, yeah, they can like, okay. okay. malalaro lang. But of yeah. course, the um, the concepts of science that we introduce to yeah. them is the basic, the right. solid, solid, liquid, liquid, and gas. The next apprentice. one is apprentice. Seven okay, and apprentice, 12. what concepts do they learn? Parang mas introduce nila other um, qualities and that you see like the elasticity. Okay. And then sometimes they measure the length of the flub. Uh -huh. So math na included. Right. And then we usually make a contest with the children. Diba? So Marami. with the same item, yes. nage evolve nage yung evolve. Uh, level of understanding. Yeah. So they let's say I am in the masters in 13 to 14. Uh, what concepts? Are maybe like? they're uh, they're going to measure the distance, or maybe if you throw the flop in just holding, how long it will like um, go. Yeah, how long it will stretch yes, and things stretch. like that. How has uh, feedback been so far? Like, what are some um, interesting stories from interesting stories students? from children? So they get excited because in our set school setup is usually theoretical. Mm -hmm. So when they Correct. come to our class, the, the comments that you'll know, oh, this is what I learned in science like last week. Mm -hmm. Or the, oh, it's like angles. We learned this in math like yesterday. So children get excited because they get to apply what they learn in regular classes. Right. Usually we align with the schools in their science curriculum or their math curriculum. Mm -hmm. Or they just wanted that the children would be able to apply and discover new things through our programs. Right. Luna then gave us a walkthrough of what parents and their kids can expect from their various learning programs. So this is the what straw is rocket. This this straw is, rocket. Yeah, one of the more popular activities in our aerospace engineering program. Mm -hmm. Here, the children will be given materials like the straw, clay, and paper. Mm -hmm. They could learn about angles, distance, and of course, in pressure. Okay. This is compressed air. So we bring this launcher where the children will be able to test the rockets that they make. Of course, after testing, everything needs improvement. So that's the part where they would improve um, and then test again. Okay, so, so how does this lift off? See, we put it here. And then... So they put their straw and, and then... And then lift they, the pole uh -huh. and then release the compressed oh, air. So, yon. so angles, we can okay. teach them angles. If right. you have a target here, of course, they would adjust the angle right. of your... The launcher. Okay. And you want it distance, they would have to adjust it. If the clay is too heavy, yeah. of course the rocket won't like go that far. Uh -oh. The next very interesting of thing course, the flub. is you want to make your own part. It's Wait, this the flub F L U B yes, Parachon slime. So let's make our own. Part. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is for chemical engineering. Okay. You get to pour in all the glue and okay. just pour in oh, little water. White glue. And then shake, shake, shake the bottle. And then this is half a cup of water. Yeah. Well, parang baking. Okay. Then we mix a little. And after this, we we'll pour in slowly our secret solution. Children have fun because, of course, colors. Yeah. And then they get to mix colors, so they learn another concept. And then you mix 
red and blue, you get purple. So you, we uh -huh. usually ask them what color they like and then we show them how. Of course, for the testing part, that's where the children get excited because they get to compete. Like, right. you have the longest slime, oh, slime stretches more. Yeah, yeah. So, if they think that it breaks easily, we ask them, why do you think that your slime broke easily? Or why do you think that your slime stretched the longest? So, this is the... We do robotics. Okay. This is for four to six years old. It's in a kit. Okay. A robotics kit. And we, on the first day, we give it to them mm -hmm. and then teach them the process how they'll come up with this. This is part okay. of the wild animals program. So, sensor shop. And the, for the more complex ones, for the older ones, for 7 to 14 years old, we have mm -hmm. ABT robotics. Okay. So, they build the robot from scratch. And at the end of the sessions, is their finished product. You can program it to draw whatever. Yes. If you want oh, them to fight, yeah. you can make sumo bots. That's yeah. super cool. This is um, electronic game design. We, we give them a blank like, platform and then we start with building their game. This is a racing game mm -hmm. and this is Pong. I have to block it. Ah! <laughs> this is a platform game, the okay. most popular of which is the Mario Brothers. I love it. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Modern Living TV here in the gorgeous Fernitalia showroom. Most definitely. Join us again next week for another episode of awesome finds and valuable tips to make your everyday living much better. From living spaces to living life beyond its confines, this, this is your ultimate guide to modern living. living.